Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you what to do if uh, you're dealing with an old system. And you can't put the system in walk test. So this right here is an old Simplex system. It's a Simplex uh, 4002. So I don't know how old it is, but it's, it's pretty old. Um, when you start seeing toggle switches, I don't know if you can see that. In the, yeah, you can see it. Uh, whenever you start seeing toggle switches, you know it's an old system. So, uh, so you can bypass um, the auxiliary outputs and so on and so forth. But a uh, surefire way to get it to where it's silent is disconnect. Uh, one leg of your horns and one leg of your strobes. So on Simplex they typically use orange and purple and yellow and brown as your horn strobe circuit and then they'll use red and blue um, for your inputs so like zones and so on and so forth. So just paying close attention. So I don't do the outside one, I always do the, the middle one then the middle one. So I know yellow and brown go together and orange and purple go together. crazy the I guess whoever done this last did not they did not tighten that up so I'm gonna loosen it up so I can get it back up in there I've been doing this for a long time and that still gets me every time Me jump. I give it a little tug. See if it'll stay in there. Let's connect the brown way. There we go. So I'll show you what I hit on this one to make it silence. So, these old simplexes, that's the button right there. You ain't got to jam it. I've seen people break those off. Just push it gently and hold it in until it stops buzzing. As you can see, troubles on here. It's got system trouble. And then it's got signal one trouble. Uh, signal to trouble. So that's because I disconnected both of those. Now this uh, right here is aux power. It's going up over here to our communicator. Um, so this is communicating uh, just alarm and troubles. So I'm gonna call call over um, here in just a little bit and verify that they did get a trouble and not an alarm so just just know that you need to do that because i've seen people accidentally reverse them or mess them up in programming where they flip-flop alarm and trouble if you if you set off a bunch of things you don't know but it, uh, with this right now if i call monitoring they should get two troubles and no alarms so it's pretty simple Starlink communicators, uh, pretty reliable so far. And now I'm fixing to begin my testing. I just wanted to show you that um, real quick how I how I go about disconnecting uh, or making it so that it doesn't set off the horn strobes 
bumper system that does not have walk test. So please like and subscribe.